Oh my gosh, that movie, it was really scary. I've got to talk about it on a YouTube channel. And welcome back to another episode of I Like Scary Movies, a Curtis Review production. This episode, we're going to be talking about my five most anticipated horror movies of 2023. Let's go ahead and get started with this list, if you dare. <laughs> Hot off the heels of his take on Michael Myers and the Halloween franchise, you know what it is. We're talking about David Gordon Green's upcoming Exorcist Legacy sequel. There's not much known about the movie thus far, but we do know that Ellen Burstyn is returning in her original role as Chris McNeil. Leslie Odom Jr. and Ann Dowd, known from Hereditary, where she was particularly effective and ominous, will be co-starring with Ellen. I guess it's finally time for me to go ahead and watch The Exorcist. Don't come at me with your pitchforks. I'm just scared of possession movies. <laughs> Renfield, starring Nicolas Cage and Nicholas Holt, is a fresh take on the Dracula formula. I'm a huge mark for vampire movies, so this was an easy ad for me. And with Nick Cage pumping out movies recently, just one one after the other, most ranging from good to pretty amazing, there's a good chance this could be great. Holt plays the titular role as Renfield, Dracula's servant and familiar. And the way the trailer depicts it, he wants out of that relationship fast. There's definitely a tongue-in-cheek quality to it, a la what we do in the shadows, maybe. So I'm expecting some laughs, but I do hope they don't hold back on the vampiric violence. Aquafina is starring in this as well, so I'm sure she'll bring her chops to the mix. Next up, we have Infinity Pool. The follow-up to Brandon Cronenberg's Possessor, starring Mia Goth, Alexander Skarsgård, and Cleopatra Coleman. This aesthetically looks to be kind of a follow-up to Possessor. Skarsgård's character ends up committing a crime in the movie, so he gets the death penalty, but they offer him a stand-in or double to be executed in his stead. There's been a lot of movies recently about rich people and their hijinks and eating and cooking the rich, so I'm picking up hints on that as well. As Skarsgård and Coleman seem to be, you know, fraternizing with other wealthy couples in the movie. Cronenberg has a knack for horrific imagery following in the footsteps of his father, the famous David Cronenberg, and I've already noticed a very distinct style permeating across his movies. Masks, melted and distorted faces, a warped reality seem to be at play here as well. This is definitely one to get excited for, and if you haven't seen Possessor, go watch that before seeing this one, and make sure to catch Infinity Pool at your your local theater when it comes out. I was a huge fan of VHS 94 back when it released in 2021 on Shudder. Adding VHS 85 to the list was a no-brainer, as it seems it's going to be hearkening back to the 80s horror movie glory. For those who aren't familiar, VHS is a horror movie franchise and features anthology storytelling with some through-line plotting to piece together the found footage mini-movies. The film will feature up-and-coming director Gigi Saul Guerrero, Natasha Kermani, who's working on an upcoming Joe Hill adaptation, as well as David Bruckner, who directed 2022's Hellraiser, and Scott Derrickson, who helmed Sinister and Doctor Strange. While as a franchise, the VHS movies tend to be kind of hit or miss, 94 was enough of a hit for me, and I haven't watched 99 yet. I still think this is going to be something worth checking out, so make sure to put it on your radar. Finally, and I'm so excited about this one, we have Skinamarink, directed by Kyle Edward Ball. This movie was made on a $15,000 budget with, I think, four cast members. The trailer is absolutely terrifying. It uses, like, subtitles, sort of grainy, found footage camera angles and shots. From the moment I finished that trailer, I can quit Googling, and I was looking for a local Showtimes, because I've got to see this movie. Now, for those who aren't familiar, Kyle Edward Ball actually started out as a YouTuber. He had a YouTube channel called Bite Size Nightmares, where he would ask viewers to post comments about their nightmares nightmares and which he would recreate on his YouTube channel. His influences range from David Lynch to Stanley Kubrick, as well as the 1967 film Black Christmas, to which he specifically references. Not much is known about this little experimental horror film, but if the trailer is any indication, we're in for something nostalgic and deeply, deeply unsettling. Quick lightning round of a couple other ones I'm looking forward to, Elizabeth Banks' Cocaine Bear, Tillman Singer's Cuckoo, which stars Hunter Schaefer of Euphoria fame. Reese Frake Waterfield's Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Oh, Piglet, would you like a knife in the stomach? Honestly, the new Haunted Mansion adaptation is worth checking out solely based on the fact that Lakeith Stanfield is billed as part of the cast. And with that, we've covered my top five anticipated scary movies for 2023. If you liked this video, please be sure to check out my five most anticipated movies in general for 2023. Please like and subscribe, and until next time, peace.